Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm back. The ECAM fam is doing Vlogmas, and we are super excited to see what you create. We'll be around all month like little helpers, making a list and checking it twice. Don't be afraid to introduce yourself and get involved in any way. We will be here to help you all the way through. I promise. We're going to be like Rudolph, red nose and all. Let's go. Here are the rules. They are super simple. You can live stream your Vlogmas video into the group or post a link where the video lives. YouTube, LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, where. If you're sending in pre-recorded videos, we will have a centralized post. You want to find that in the thread, drop in the link there so we never miss it. Always write a description for your videos and put in the hashtag Ecamm Vlogmas. This way it makes it easy for us to find. As you know, we are the Ecamm family so please let's keep the content pg and the most important rule of all have fun have yourself a merry ecamm vlogmas i'll never do that again i promise just have fun if you have any questions comments or feedback drop them below or find the post inside the facebook group we have lots of little elves running around the ecamm family to help you out just get involved every monday throughout december anna fulgens and myself will be doing some curation giving you critiques positive tips along the way anything we can to help you out we might even invite along a few guests there'll be fun there'll be prizes just get involved it is ecamm vlogmas y'all and we are so excited to do this fun incredible vlogmas project with you the lovely members of the ecamm family happy creating ho 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 aloha
Aloha, everybody. Welcome to the demo. I am community manager, Doc Rock. If you're brand new around here, let us know you're new so that the family can say hello and welcome you to the party. I know there'll be a lot of new people because, well, we just had our Black Friday sale and lots of people signed up. So hopefully some of you guys are here to go through this demo with us. We do this every single Friday. Don't worry if you miss something. Just come back next week. And the week after that, some folks be here every week just because it's a good place to fun and hang out and you learn something new. I do the demo every Friday. I learn something new because that's just how it works. Okay. Anyway, we're going to dive in today. I need to do one thing first. I'm going to show you right off the top of the bat. Let me go ahead in the live demo mode. This is where you guys can see what I see. I know it's a Christmas song. I'm not going to do it. I swear. Today, I have a very important meeting right after this. So we're going to set this timer for... 55 minutes and we're going to set it for auto start and then I'm going to put it somewhere where I can see so that I remember that we are on a time crunch. Now, the other thing that's important is I'm going to move it up into show all scenes so that way when I change scenes, it's never quite missing. And then as we get close, Paul and the other moderators will let me know because you know me, I'll just like forget. <laughs> so... I don't like that. Hold on. Sorry. I'm being, I'm being um, picky because I just want to don't, don't, don't at me, bro. <laughs> I think that's what the kids say. Okay. Let's dive in. We're going to dive in. This is your Ecamm look. This is what most people see. Mine's going to look a little different from yours when you first start out because I'm weird and I like things like situated a certain way. What I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to pop out of live demo mode. I'll show you where it's at. I'm never going to come in here again because I tend to do this by my stream deck or by the shortcut keys. But here you go. Live demo mode is right there in the options window, live demo mode. So I'm going to pop out real quick. Boom. So I can say what's up to my peoples. Okay. So Mr. Paul Duncan aforementioned is here. How you doing, Mr. Paul Duncan? Jim, tell me about it. It messes me up. Like... I was finished breakfast and and came down here and I was like, uh, you got time. <laughs> What's up, Parker? Good to see you here, bro. I appreciate you. Hello, Chocolate Twist Yoga. Glenda is in the building. Glenda, your your I got your question. It's super simple. I'll show you. Doesn't matter if you had eighty seven monitors. It doesn't know where the monitor is. It's irrelevant. But yeah, I'll show you. Anyway, hello. Life happens. De stress with Deborah. I'm just gonna call you Deborah. <laughs> because that's just long. <laughs> I appreciate you. Hey, Katie, what's happening? All right, now you guys get me in trouble. You guys call the boss. The boss is here. <laughs> yes, Katie, Blogmas is freaking amazing so far. Watching everybody. Mr. Michael Powell out here trying to make folks cry first thing in the morning, looking at his video. Uh, it's just super funny. Um, there are no face filters on the count, we, we don't really do face filters because I'm cute and I don't need them. I'm joking. We just don't do that. But I'll show you how to do it. There is a way to do it. Uh, Snapcam is the answer. Just, um, i just born ugly. I just leave it this way. No need to filter. But yes, uh, Snap Camera will help you. It's I believe it's free. I'm going to say it's free. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say it's free. Um, I don't remember if I have it installed in this machine. I do not, but yeah, it's free. I'm pretty sure. If I'm crazy, somebody fix me because I don't remember. Uh, da, 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 da. Da, da, da. We got Kelly. All right, she's ready to learn. You're <laughs> ready to learn. I love it. I love it. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh yeah, Katie already answered this question. See, that's why it's good to have Katie around. What's up, Mr. Rich? Good to see you here. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, yeah, I'll show you. I think I can download it real quick. It's super simple. It is super simple. Um, while you're waiting, go ahead and download the app so we can make it easy. There you go. Hello, Nancy. Chapel Hill. Good to see you here, Nancy, in the building. There's Kills. What's up, Kills? Good to see you here as well. Dun, 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 dun. I'm gonna go ahead and lock this. Um, Actually, Deborah, that's a good question. I'm going to lock this question and bring it up later for you. Hello, Mr. Brent. I appreciate it. 
Uh, yep, that's easy to fix. Let's get to that. I'm gonna save that. And then Mr. Camera Junkie is here. Da, 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 da. I'm getting such good sound quality because I'm cute and I sound good. No, I have an SM7B. <clears throat> See, right when you said that, I got choked. <laughs> That's what I get for being a smart alley. SM7B plugged into a Rodecaster Pro. No cloud lifter needed. I am born loud. Be more super. What's up? Good to see you here. It's been a minute. And let's see. Yes, Mr. Mahler Raiders are all in the building. Um, this we can fix. Let me start that. Uh, da, 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 da. Yes, Paul. Um, guys, you'll see why Paul is trying to explain to you to put the cue in front of your questions first. You'll see why very shortly. It's super, super important. It just makes this so much easier. Uh, Mabuhai. What's up, Dina? Good to see you here. Rajesh, good to see you here. This is perfectly timed. Don't, don't forget, uh, Rajesh, I'm going to just call you Raj because, you know, hey, this is how I do. Every Friday. Every Friday, same bad time, same bad channel. This is where we're at. We got you covered. And let's see, let's see. Credit Dave. What's up, my man? Good to see you here. Uh, Glenn, I got your question already. Let me lock it again just to remember. Uh, da, 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 da. And we'll go ahead and lock that. My squad is in the building. And there's Sammy. All right, I think we got everybody. Oh, no, there's G sliding in the back door. What's up, G? All right, all right, all right. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. You guys are here. You guys are here. I appreciate it. <clears throat> Ashby, welcome to the team. I appreciate you for showing up. This is such, such, such fun around here. We have an absolute blast. Healthy bearded. You know, we're already good. And you, got, you say say no more. What's up, Candy? Good to see you here. I appreciate you. <laughs> you guys are having fun. Making fun of my weird randomness. Russell, good to see you here. Uh, la, da, da, da. All right, we're going to go all the way back to the beginning. That's exactly what we do every time here. It looks like I got just about everyone. What's up, Tones? Good to see you here. Let's dive in real quick since we're going to run out of time. Otherwise, I'll be sitting here saying hi to the family all day. I'm just making sure we don't have any questions. Okay, we got we got one more. Yeah, let me go ahead and lock this question as well. All right, so let me pop into live demo mode real quick. Again, your screen might look a little different from mine. I like mine. A certain way. I am super, like, anal retentive about sizing and placement. Like, this one moved, and I don't like it. All right, so here's the basics. Here's the absolute basics. I got scenes over here, my overlays, my sound effects, my sound levels, my comments and reactions, my interview, my camera effects. Most of the people that watch me on a regular basis know I tend to like to leave my bandwidth and statistics monitor up since I'm working on widescreen today. I'll be over here. Um, my other machine is in the shop, so I'm stuck with widescreen today. But, hey, we're going to make it work. Uh, dun, 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 dun. I think that was a question. But, yes, uh, yes, everybody, please, if you can, formulate your questions like Paul tell you, and you'll see why in just a bit. It will make so much sense that it's hilarious. You'll get it. You'll get why we're so crazy about it. Okay, anyway, so you guys noticed already, <clears throat> we're going to start with scenes. Let's just do this. In my scenes window, you see I have a scene called intro, a scene called promo, a scene called me, a scene called me black and white, which is not black and white, but we'll fix that in a second, and then a folder called Lou V, uh, because I named it after Mr. Camera Junkie, and you'll see why this is self-evident. Then there's a couple more just random scenes when I was playing around yesterday. What I tend to think of scenes like is I think of scenes like scenes in the play. Come in, we're going to start our show. We're going to play Aloha, a little... Aloha, family, or shall And then we're going to go into a regular scene, and then we'll go into a different scene, in which case I will do what I intended to do, is do like this. So it's just a whole different look and feel, Right. So I use these instead of what a lot of people used to do is take one scene, put 900 overlays and try to run their show. That's crazy. <laughs> Don't do that. It will make you nuts. Some people still like that, but it will make you nuts. Trust me. So the, the other thing that's cool about doing it with scenes is because scenes allow you to copy and paste and easily duplicate, what that will do for you is give you the ability to have things in the exact same place make a copy of it, make a minor change, and you have a whole different look, but you won't have to realign everything. Aligning things is a pain in the tuchus. So basically, 
I'm going to walk you through how to build a scene, but in order to do that, we'll have to get into overlays. And once we get into overlays, you'll see how they react. I want you to think of scenes like a blank canvas, if you will. I want you to think of overlays like the things you apply to that canvas in order to get a look. Uh, why am I still this way? Don't do that. Okay, so, um, you know, or again, another good one is, you know, think of scenes as the cake and overlays as the frosting and the sprinkles and whatever, so you can adjust accordingly, right? So let's get in here and dive in. We're going to build something real quick. I'm going to come down here. I'm going to press the plus button, which is here on the bottom, to make a new scene. Okay, when a new scene comes up, it, it comes up blank. And that's because of the way I have my preferences set. If I open the preference window real quick and go to video, you'll see I have my default source mode is blank. If I say camera and screen share, that's what would pop up. I like mine blank because to me, it's the way to build it. So it starts out blank. I can press on camera to get a camera look. I can press on screen share to get a screen share look or a movie to play a particular movie. Aloha Ecamm family, or shall I say? Right? So these are my options. What The reason why I like blank is because what I do is come down here in the overlay section and I use the camera icon to bring on the camera. Okay? That allows me to, you know, put my camera wherever I want as opposed to turn on the regular camera, which covers the whole screen and there's not a lot of moving around, right? So I prefer to work from blank. Blank is the answer to me, it just easier. Now, with this camera, I have some options. Let's check them out. I can press the pencil, pick a different camera, right? I can be either I can go classic which is four by three old school TV where my old people at I can go square Instagram I can do circles I could do the ever impressive squircle which is a real shape don't get it twisted <laughs> and I can do tall which is somewhat like a camera let me slightly embiggen this for the new folks while I'm here I can Take off the roundness on my edges. Now, you might say, I can't see that. Okay, cool. Let me bless you up with a little bit of border, and then it'll make sense. I'm going to round the bottom left edge. Boom. I'm going to round the bottom right edge. Boom. I'm actually going to do something more crazy. I'm going to leave the bottom left, uh, you know, angular, and then I'm going to take this in and go like this. You see what I'm saying? So now, there it is. Whoop. There it is. Does that make sense? Mm, I hope you guys are seeing this correctly because, you know, sometimes the, oh yeah, it's working. I'm just checking because sometimes the screen share messes me up and it gets stuck, but I'm pretty sure it's just my machine. Anyway, so I like to put my camera in. That way I can adjust my camera to wherever I want it to go. Here's the cool thing about this. I'm going to hold down the option key, drag this camera over, so I get a second camera. In that particular uh, position, I can press on the pencil and select my guest, right? I might have a guest if I'm doing an interview mode type thing. I can grab another pencil and then hold the option key, drag over, click that, come down and put my guest too. So I can have multiple guests in this easy, just built this in a couple of seconds showgram. And this is what makes Ecamm superior to a lot of other platforms is you can build your scenes any way you want. We are super, super adjustable. You're not stuck with some rigid layout. You can go to town and build layouts supreme. I mean, you can go crazy. You can go nuts. So that is that first setup right there, right? So you can put a blank, add a camera. Now, I'm going to show you some of the things in overlays because it does help us build scenes when we are in the scene building process. I'm going to go back to this funny looking screen and I'm going to go ahead and turn these cameras off. Now, you notice I delete them, but if I look in this overlay panel, they're still there. They're not actually gone. I can toggle them on and off with these little eyeball dudes here. If I want to actually rid of them, I can select one, shift key, select all three, do that there. 
how you do that there. So I can take this. I'm going to go back to my ever impressed with squircle mode because, hey, I just like squircle mode. And then put it like that there. All right, cool. We're going to keep it real gangster. Let me show you some of the other options that we have available here. At the bottom of the scene, you see there is a photo. That photo allows me to bring in an image. If you hover the mouse over it, it says new image overlay. I can also come over here and then say do a new animated overlay. That will allow me to bring in the photo with some movement, if you will. I can press this little computer one, and that would allow me to bring in a new screen share overlay. And then at the end, I could press this T to bring in a text overlay. Then I have the clock overlay, which you guys saw me do in the very beginning. And I have this widget overlay, which I'll show you in a second. And camera overlay is the first one I showed you. The last one is folders because organizing things in folders make your life good in the hood. So let's go and do some things. All right. So what I want to do here is I want to bring in a photo. Photograph. I don't want you. All right. Let me grab this photograph. Let's see. Um. Let me go and find her real quick and then select a photo photo here. Here's one. I'm going to pick this photo right here. So here's what I do. I like to drag and drop them in like such. If you press the button, the button will open up the Mac dialogue and it will allow you to, you know, select like you were looking in any other program. I, I, Honestly, me, I never do it that way. I just drag and drop everything in. So everything you're going to see me doing a demo for demo purposes will be drag and drop. But know that you can select a photo, right? The old school way. So now let me show you some things. Let me turn off this Santa Claus right here. And I'm going to embiggen this back to full size. I'm using my scroll wheel to control my sizing. And when I embiggen it, you can stretch it from the edge with your mouse. You can grab a corner. You can stretch it from any edge, or you could put the, the mouse in the middle, use your scroll wheel, and it will embiggen accordingly, right? So what I want to do is center this. You'll notice the little blue lines pop up, and then I'm going to embiggen it proper. Now I can pay, take my camera and put myself in this little situation over here. If I hide this PNG for just a second or put the camera on top, I can hit my little pencil here, turn this into a circle, make sure that it's big enough to fit so it covers everything, line them up, and then drag it to the bottom so it's hiding behind, and there it is. I can put myself in the bobble, like the UK people call it. So when you come out, you see my scene, I look like this. I can have my little timer over here, you know, doing things, right? We're going to pop back out. So now I want to come over here and press on the text guy and I'm going to turn off the background. Yes. I'm going to put the text and I'm going to say, okay. And then I want to pick a font so you can use any fonts in your entire system. Just whatever you have, whatever pops your socks, whatever floats your boat and hides your lost remote. I will pick something semi cool. Montserrat, boom, all the way down to the big end. Bam. Gangster. Okay, so now I got my text. Again, I can use my scroll wheel to big in, or I can just grab the edge and drag it. So I'm going to put this here straight across the top, and that looks good, right? We're going to call that a day. Now, if I want, I can... Command C, copy. Command V, paste, right? I have a second copy. Say your brain doesn't work like that. You can right click on this bad boy. And sorry, sorry, you can click on it to highlight it. And then you can go up into the edit menu and go copy. And then you can go paste. But that's a whole lot of mousing around when you can just use your finger. I don't know why people do it the hard way. But hey, I'm not your boss. All right. So then let me come over here. And then we're going to go to like that. Then I can grab the corner. 
right? We're going to pretend like this clock is related, right? I'll just go something like that. And then maybe on this particular one, I want to add a background. So let me show you real quick. Pop in here, click on background. Click the color cheek lay, and then let's select a color. We're going holiday season. If you want to add a border to that, you can. I do not. I can add a little margin to give it some space. And again, I can round out my corners, you know, because the bobbles or ornaments are around. I just like the word bobble. I'm not even British. I just like saying it. It's, I don't know why. It's a cool, it sounds like a much better word than ornament. And so there you go. In a matter of seconds, we can build a scene. Now, let me come over here and check on you. Oh, so this is going to jump ahead slightly, but the reason why it's going to jump ahead slightly is so you can understand why we say, hey, people, please make the questions like the way I want you to make the questions. Okay, so here we go. It's not just me. This is sort of stream etiquette, just so you know. In here, in comments and reaction window, I can put Q colon, hit enter, and now I got all the questions lined up. This allows me to search for questions. If you just say, hey, uh, how much is a can of milk? I'm never going to find that in a stream where there's, you know, lots of people talking. Like, you can tell right now that there's 39 people watching the stream and 13 people hit the... Man, I ain't answering no questions until we get to 20. I'm back. All right, we're going to ignore those questions. What the heck, you guys, and nobody pressing the like button. My mama, she's going to be so upset. And nobody press the like button. <laughs> I'm joking. Let's go in here. So, <laughs> did you mean Mod Squad like him, Peggy Lipton? No, I meant Mod Squad like him, Paul and Mr. Cameron Chunky. <laughs> That is funny, Deborah. That is funny. Okay, I like it. I like it. <laughs> All right, let me check. So, um, Glenda, your question is going to come up in in the next thing. So we'll get to that. Um, yes. So to your real real quick, Deborah, you can get that to work, and there's some things you can do to mitigate it. But it's kind of next to hard to get rid of all latency issues because there's the internet involved. In the same room, it, you can get latency issues on, you know, recording into a computer, computer processing, come out the processor, go. And what I like to explain to people, in order to understand why this is so difficult, take your cell phone, you're on the same network as the other person in your house, you guys can both be on AT&T, call each other from the opposite side of the room on speakerphone and you'll hear the latency because it's traveling, hitting the signal towers, twirling around, going to the NSA to check to make sure they can see, hear everything you say. I'm joking. It hits the tower, turns around, comes back, and that alone causes enough delay to be an issue. Uh, musicians have figured out ways to test the timing using metronomes to figure out what the off is and then play into that off on purpose and it can, and it can work. So there's ways to do it. We have a metric ton of really, really good musicians inside the Ecamm community. And we actually have an Ecamm community for musicians. So hang out with them kids and you'll be, you'll be delicious in no time. They're just, they're amazing folks. Um, yeah. Look for Aaron Short and uh, Mari. Those guys are amaze balls. All right. So, yes, now Paul shows you why we want the questions to look like that. It makes my job easier to find them. Glenda, I'll handle your thing right next. Uh, Vlogmas is just, we're just doing this uh, vlog challenge. It could be a video about anything, really, to be honest with you. But we want you to challenge yourself. We want you to do some things that are difficult for you so that you can get better. So if you say you're afraid of talking on camera, we want you to talk to camera a lot. If you say that you struggle with design, we want you to design things for those 30-some-odd days. It's just a matter of getting in reps of doing things that will make you better. It's super low-key. It's a lot of fun. You can look at some of the examples that are popping off in the group and then just know, I know you got this, okay? I know you got this. Uh, da -da -da. Uh, so um, I, I will confess, I am a broadcast professional for over 30 years. I know a lot about sound and lighting. I have professional lights. I am using a Nanlite 200 off to this side with a 25 degree, a 45 degree grid and a diffuser. On this side, I have a lantern 
it's a round ball lantern in a 1D diffusion with silver reflectors to fill my face. And because they're so high, you can't see them in my glasses. What everyone does is try to use uh, ring lights and all this other weird stuff from Instagram and they put it right in front of them. So if the light is looking at you, your glasses will see that. But if I tilt up, now you can see it. You know what I mean? But the way it is right now, even if I expose the dome, you still don't see it because I have them high and at a 45 degree angle. And that normally takes care of that. But fantastic question. That is one of the more common questions that come up. Um, Live demo mode is basically this. It just allows you to see what I am doing. And the only reason why we use it is to teach other folks how to use Ecamm. You really don't need it for performing. I do it to teach folks. It's kind of dope. Uh, you cannot look at the same screen that your screen, uh, this nothing to do with Ecamm and there's no way to get rid of this. If you are looking at the same screen, that is the same screen because it's the screen. I can't even explain that, but this has been since we were little kids on TV. If you take a video camera and plug it into the family TV and point the camera at the family TV, you get infinity screen all the way back from 72 on our RCA, you know, three piece video camera. That's not an Ecamm thing. That's physics. So if you point the camera at whatever the camera is cameraing, it will infinity screen. It's I, I, I can't explain that any better than that. Um, yeah. So when I screen share, I use screen share like this and my, my, uh, Chrome screen is on a different monitor. My camera is never really seeing that. So if I select Google Chrome, you can see Google Chrome. So if I come over here and do one of these, hit ecamm.com, you see Google Chrome because I'm not looking at my screen. Now, if I were to put this on and make, uh, no, nope, that's not even going to work. I was going to say if, yeah, I can't even, I'm not going to try to force it cause it's a lot of work, but yeah, just screen share screen share is what it is. It's kind of hard to explain that, but it's a physics thing. Uh, vlog miss topics can be just round by anything. Is there a way to have a stream automatically run after have the stream end? Yes. Yes. I do it every time. Miss lady girl. I do it every single time. Uh, I'll show you how to do that. Let me find a thing real quick. And I just need any old movie. So I'm not going to use the movie that I normally use, but let me show you. I'm going to drag in this movie. Real quick, it's going to cover my face and mute my mic temporarily, but I'll turn my mic back on. Okay, so this movie is running. Miss Dean, if you look here, if you click this drop down, you got options. Do nothing, loop this video, go to the next scene, end the broadcast. So if I select it for end the broadcast, when it gets down here, it's turning off the broadcast. Let me stop that before we have a problem. <laughs> but that is how you do it. You take a subsequent movie film, you put it in your scene, and you set it for end broadcast. So you know on my show, on my regular show, I have my end screen come up because I know it's going to live on YouTube. It automatically ends. On this one, when I do my Mahalo movie at the end, which I don't even know if I have on this machine. Let me look for it. Um, it automatically ends this. It automatically ends the broadcast as soon as it gets to the end of that thing. So yes, that is a thing, and that is a fantastic question. Something that I do religiously, and I don't even know if I have it on this machine because I'm stupid. Uh, nope, not on this machine. Uh oh, that means I got to end this sucker by hand today. All right, let me go back in here. Bump it around. Ooh. Hot tub lady. How do I start with the blank screen? I always on my main camera and I can't get rid of it. P.S. I hit the like button. <laughs> I love you. You're awesome sauce. Okay. Here's a demo mode again. Boom. Command comma. That opens the preferences. 
under the video tab in preferences, there is blank camera screen share. Start with blank default source mode blank. And so now whenever I'm here and I want to start with blank, if I hit a new scene, hit the plus E, I get blank, right? The other option, uh, the other option, whenever you're here in your thing, if you command shift B, that equals blank, right? Also, if you go up here under scene, under source, you got it right here, blank. And from here, you can see command shift B. That's it. Command L is camera. Command S is screen share. Those are your secret sauce commands. Learn them. I'm the keyboard guy. I like them. Somebody was making fun of me. Oh, Kali was making fun of me because she got a couple of them that she learned now. But yeah, I just, the reason why I like the keyboard thing is because you can just go quicker. You can also set them up here. Uh, let me show you this real quick. If you happen to be a stream deck person, you can set up the scene like here. I can take this, go to my run scene, and then go down to uh, Ecamm here and say I want to do uh, live demo mode. I think they're in alphabetical order. Why am I crazy? There it is. I can take live demo mode and just put it in there. There. Replace that. So now, when I'm out of this thing on my stream deck, I can go live demo mode on, off, 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 on. Yeah, because I just added it to my stream deck. There you go. Ta -da -da, ta -da -da, ta -da -da. Boom. How are you answering questions with my name highlighted? That is Ecamm. That is a functionality of Ecamm. If you are an Ecamm user and you are using the Ecamm, that didn't make any sense. It's just part of our thing. That's just what we do. Um, this comments and reaction window down here allows me to see all the comments that come through and I just click on it. So when I click on Jim, Jim pops up. Uh, the numbers on the mic delay slider related to milliseconds, uh, frames. I'm pretty sure it's frames. Let's check. I never even thought about that, Jim. I just do it. <laughs> That's super funny that you say that, but uh, where is it at? There it is. Yes, it's frames. It says it right there. Frames. Dun, dun, dun. The reason why frames is better than milliseconds, and it's, it's kind of super obvious when you think about it, but you have no reason to ever think about this. Are you streaming in 24 frames per second, 25 frames per second, 30 frames per second, 60 frames per second, 50 frames per second? We don't know. So all I need to know, look at your FPS, adjust the mic frames, and it's better because milliseconds at 24 frames a second is absolutely 148% different than uh, frames at 60. That's not even 168%. It's a lot more percent than that. But anyway, you know what I'm saying? So that's why... And the answer is four. If you're on a Sony camera using a cam link, the answer is four. Always has been. Uh, screen share from another computer. Easy peasy, cover greasy. Our machines, our programs, but I can't speak English. Our program understands NDI, new tech NDI, which you can do easy peasy, cover greasy, install Ecamm on both. Start Ecamm on the other machine, turn the screen share of that machine onto the other machine, and it will automatically show up in here as an option in your little cheek lays, just like I have this. Right? Why are you transparent? <laughs> anyway, so yeah, um, yeah, super simple to do. NDI will send the signal straight, clean, cross. As a matter of fact, I'll show you real quick with my phone. Here's an iPhone. Look, Ma, no cables, right? I'm going to open said iPhone, have it look at my funny face. And then I'm going to go into uh, NDI. NDI, there's a program on here that says NDI HX Capture. I'm just going to press that. It looks like such, NDI HX Capture. I'm going to say start broadcasting. There's that. Hit start broadcast. And in three, two, one, it's going to start the broadcast. And simple as pie, bam. I can add this to the screen. Okay, so now that I'm here, I can go like that. And you can just see things. You know what I mean? We can go shopping on Amazon real quick. 
Let's look at a uh, monitor. Bam. And if I don't want it to just obnoxiously take over my screen like that, I can come here and press on uh, camera because it's a camera and then press on the pencil, go to cam link and go to Apollo 13. That is my, what you call it, iPhone. And then do tall, turn off the borders, turn off the roundy rounds and then adjust accordingly. So now you are looking at my iPhone in real time broadcast via NDI. And as you can see, snappy as it can get. Dun, 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 dun. With NDI and VPN and a network person that knows what they're doing, you could actually screen share a screen from the whole opposite side of the freaking planet because it's just the internet. Like, you can. It can be done. Good question, Jason. Bam. In the building. Uh, oh, yeah. We covered that. Um I didn't see how you did it. I saw the movie, can't do it again. What movie? What movie? I'm curious. What are we talking about? Please ask me again, Candy. Uh, how do I get them on the stream day? Just drag it into this little icon right here. Um, for instance, now this is going to be super silly, but if I wanted to, I could take this PNG right here and just drag it onto the button. Actually... You got to go to uh, access to the files. Yes. And then open it. It might be too big. That file's too big, but yeah, you can set the icons right here. Set from the icons, choose a new icon, or choose from the Stream Deck library, right? So you can come in here. They got their own Stream Deck library, but it's really just pictures. That's super simple stuff. Not really our Kuliana. Uh, NDI is. Network device interface. It means nothing. Just don't, never, never mind what it is. It sounds funny, but it's one of those things that you've been using every day. You just might not know you use it, but any kind of camera that you have in your environment that is a network based camera, uh, ring doorbell, baby monitors, um, your car where you, if you have a thing or you can, uh, I forgot what they call it on the car, but like I can go in my car app and see my car cameras from in the house, just in case somebody's like bothering it. That's all NDI. Any camera that can be seen across the network is NDI. Okay. So let me do Glenda's question real quick because she wants to know how do you do a screen share overlay? Um, all you do is you press the screen share icon right here. Okay, so I'm going to, in big in this, screen share, boom. That brings up the overlay panel, okay? When I come up here, the pencil tells me what do you want to see, primary display, secondary display, tertiary display. I have three displays, but I don't even do that. I just pick the program. I don't care what the display is. Picking the program is a better option. So let's pick Stream Deck. There's the Stream Deck right in there, simple. And it doesn't matter that Stream Deck is on the same display, which it is, or if I were to move Stream Deck over here to the iPad, it doesn't matter. If I move it to the, to the other display, wait, where'd that go? It doesn't matter because it's not caring which display it's on. It's caring that I'm looking at the app. So um, that looks atrocious, but what we're going to do, hold down the option key and drag this baby in, and then you can tuck. You can just tuck, and then you don't have to see all of that stuff. Now... The other part of that question is, she stated, well, what if I want to be able to just hit the green screen button? Okay, hit the green screen button. Now it's clear. Simple. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. I still, I still, I'm a, you know, designer by trait, so I'm still going to crop it because I don't like empty blank boxes. So with this here, if I'm trying to teach y'all how to do Stream Deck, let me show you how I would do it. I got my Stream Deck over there here. Command Shift B to get a blank. I got a blank. I'm going to embiggen this, put this right here. I would click on my camera to bring up a camera of myself, the instructor, and then I would put it like such here. Actually, let me flip the script on this, and I'll just show you why in a second. So I'm going to put this here. I'm going to put this here. I'm going to temporarily hide my clock. But I'm, somebody, moderators, remind me to turn it back on so I don't get lost. Okay, I am going to now go and get a background. And 
Let me let me entertain you. Let me find a background that I want to use something like this. Yep, boom. Drag this background right here. Ta da off. Now I'm square. Then when I bring in a question, I got space for the question. So simple. I mean, I literally just made that in the matter of seconds. Is there a way to have, yeah, we covered that already. Um, yep. That was Glenn's question. So that was that. Okay. Let me come out of the questions box and get back here. Support desk.ecam.com. That is a support question. And no, I don't think it's a bug. But that's not my Kuliana. Support .ecam, support .ecam um Sound quality doesn't... We don't touch sound quality whatsoever. Yes, you can play iTunes, but don't do that. It's against the law. <laughs> but let me just... I got some stuff in here. I believe in my library that I can play because I have epidemic sounds. So I got iCam here. Um, my brain is stuck right now. Don't ask me why. I'm going to go to albums. And let me see. Do I have anything? Uh, where the heck is my magazine? See, they changed iTunes to music, and it just messed up my whole face because now I don't remember where the search box is. Oh, there it is. So I want to go back to my library and just go to songs and then go to ES because that means Epidemic Sound and nothing. Let me just grab something from Epidemic Sound real quick because then it'll make sense. Uh, oh, that's because it's searching Apple Music Library. Here's my library. Here's ES. All right. Better Place. Instrumental. I can play this. All right. Right now, you don't hear anything, but all I have to do, watch this now, pay attention. See this guy right here? System audio, not twerking right now. All right, if I go into preferences real quick, not you, Ecamm preferences. Go into Ecamm preferences, embigging this, and I go under audio, broadcast system audio all the time. Oh, there it is. So I'm square. I might not just have it turned on. Nope, it's in there. Maybe the song's not playing because it's actually not playing. <laughs> that could be a problem because it might be, um, what's the word I'm looking for? In iCloud. Let me grab this one. If it's in iCloud, it's the reason why it's not playing because it's not actually downloaded to the machine. You know what I mean? There we go. Now you see it? It's playing. Yes, the other song was still in the cloud, so it was downloading. So yes, you can easily play things from any program. Doesn't matter whether it's that. I could play it directly from Chrome if I wish. You just have to go into your preferences and make sure that you have broadcast system. Audio. If you go to screen sharing only, Right, and I have that up, and I go to play that same file. It's playing here, but I have it in screen share mode because of what I'm doing, right? So, stop that. Okay, quit. Gangster. When I was showing the Snowflake movie, I just dragged the movie in. I mean, I literally just pick it up and drag it in. Um, but now it's in the clip right here. If I go here. See, it's there. It's just a clip. You can drag the movie in. N nothing, nothing special. You can even use it as a background, as you can see. <laughs> so, I mean, not like that, though. Bam. Uh.
Okay, I'm going to give you the entire YouTube tutorial of how to connect a iPhone to Ecamm in the next 10 seconds. Okay, because this is it. iPhone cable. iPhone. Plug it into the phone. Plug it into the computer. That tutorial over. That is the entire tutorial. <laughs> I know, right? I know, right? People think I'm crazy, but it is what it is. If I come to camera now and click on camera, one of the options will be my iPhone. Is that same? Well, the phone just went to sleep, of course. Um, but yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't have to do anything. It's just automatic, right? When you plug your phone in, it automatically shows up. You don't have to do anything other than that. I just had to unlock my phone. Is what I had to do. But it shows up as one of the phones in your list. So if it doesn't work the first time, take that cable, use a different cable. That's it. <laughs> That's it. That is the entire thing. iPhone, iPad, Android, Android tablet, cable, USB, unlock the screen, done. Nothing else. That's just built in. Um, yeah, sidecar. You could do that with sidecar. That's not an ecam thing. That's a sidecar thing. Uh, yes, there is. Yes, there is. Um, I forgot which key, but it's one of these keys. You, anyway, it's a Mac thing, Rich. You right-click on it in the dock with either the option key or command option key, and it'll say always show on this display, always show on that display. The reason why it's not really working right now, these two displays aren't real displays. That's a teleprompter, and that's an iPad, so it doesn't work. But on your computer, if you have both, right-click on it, when, hold the option key or the command key or command option, and it will show you the option always show on this display, always show on that display. Again, that's a Mac OS thing. Good question, though. <laughs> oh, my timer restarted. Yo, <laughs> good call, Katie. Holy crap. I forgot if you turn off the timer and turn it back on, it restarts. Dude. Okay. All right. We're going to have a fast, fast round. We got like about four more minutes. Boom. Uh, yes, you can do it with the NDI app. And I don't remember paying $20 for it, but I might have. I thought it was 10 Oh, I know what it is. I bought it maybe on like Black Friday or something. But yes, the NDI HX Capture application for the phone is um, it. And let me do this real quick. I'll make this so you don't make any mistakes. Because I'm sure there's probably more than one. So I'm going to press share app. That gives me the link. I'm going to copy the link. I'm going to come over here into the YouTube and then in the I H X capture, bam. Oh, you ding dong. <laughs> well, I thought that was going to work. <laughs> I thought it was going to let me get the, uh, the link here. I'll do it this way. Cause this is, this is, um, YouTube on well, YouTube. You can actually write in the comments. Nobody, no other platform allows you to do that though. I wish it would because it makes life way easier. But there you go. That should show up. Hey, what the heck? Oh, it did. It showed up. There you go. Oh, that's why it's not working. I had I had the queue highlighted. Um, Not a question, but kind of a question. Look, we go like this. We go to interview mode. And uh, boom, boom, boom. Guest view, broadcast, host camera. Broadcast, host camera. That's it. That's the answer to that. Boom. Um, Monday. 
2 p.m. Eastern. No. Monday, 2 p.m. my time. What the heck is that? Um, Katie, help Nancy. It's 2 p.m. my time. I don't know what time it is on the East Coast. Um, but it's on Monday on ENN. Why am I dumb? <laughs> I should I should remember that. Oh, da, 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 da. All right. Boom. Uh, you need... The, Thank you, Tony. Thank you. Thank you, Tony. I'm trying to just make sure we didn't miss anything real pressing. <laughs> Candy. Thank you, Candy. I hope you got your Amazon live thing straightened out. Um, yes, Deborah, make sure you go and find the other musicians and get like linked up with them. Cause we got a lot of them and they are freaking amazing. 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 Uh, I'm frequently having audio issues. Um, we don't really do anything to audio other than play it. So that's probably your audio routing. You need to just take your entire interface, throw it away, delete loop back off your machine. You probably don't need it and start from there and then build accordingly. Once you get into an audio spaghetti, the best thing to do is unplug everything audio related and plug it back one at a time because it's very easy to get out of control. I think of audio issues like turning the corner at five miles an hour, you turn the corner, turn that exact same corner at 50, you die. So yeah, sometimes it's better in audio to pull everything, mic cables, the whole nine yards, delete all the interfaces, delete any programs that run those interfaces and start from scratch. Start from the first most important thing and then add the next and then add the next and then add the next. Most people add loop back too early, and it messes them up because they have no idea what loop black routing is. And it's complicated. And I don't know why everyone thinks it's easy, but it's not as an audio professional. And again, I've done this for 40 years. Loop backing is hard for us inside of a concert theater setting up a three piece band. So of course, loop back in the computer can be difficult. It's not a common thing, right? So yeah, I want to say that Loop back requires you to do some learning. It's not as easy. All right, we're, we're out of here. Gang, I'm sorry we had to make this short today, but don't forget we do this every single Friday, uh, as I used to say, every freaking weekend. And we got a lot more to show you. There's already demos that are in the can. So if you look at this playlist, for once this video is turned into a real video, it'll be attached to a playlist. You'll see the other 29, 30 weeks that we've done this. There's a lot of things in there. Don't go too far back because we are on 3.9. Some of the stuff I showed you today is very 3.9 specific, but we do the demo every Friday and just come in the community and play around and practice. Like the community will help you if you get stuck anywhere. I appreciate you guys. I'm going to have to play music and we'll see you soon. Aloha. Do this on the fly. Doesn't matter if the snow is falling.